Hi everyone! Ever since I did my last pen pal video, I've gotten a lot of questions on how to do a lot of other things related to pen paling, so I've decided to make a series called Pen Pal 101, which this video and my previous one, as well as a few more, are going to be a part of. I'll make a playlist on my channel so you can watch them all at once, if that's what you're into, but today I'm going to be talking about how to decorate your envelopes. And to give you some ideas, I'm going to show you the pen pal letters, that have come in some of the prettiest envelopes that I've gotten. They always come in pretty envelopes, but I just picked a few of my favorites to show you in this video to give you some inspiration. This first letter came from my pen pal Sophia. She lives in Slovakia and she sent me this one for my birthday. She drew a cat with this cake and then she used glitter glue to add sparkles to it. And then on the back there's just some tape. Um, one tip I have is just seal your letters with pretty tape, and if you don't have pretty tape, just draw like a border along the seal, because I think that looks really nice, as opposed to just having a plain back on your, um, letters. By the way, all of mine have tape covering the addresses. It doesn't really match the design, but that's the best way I could find to cover it, um, with the way I'm showing them. So that was my letter from Sophia. The next letter came from my pen pal Joanne, who lives here in the U.S., and this one she put a lot of time into, as you can tell. She drew all of these little stickers onto index cards, I think, and then used colored pencil to paint them in. And, um, I don't know, I just really like this one, and there's some on the back, too, and a quote. Um, I can just tell this must have taken her a long time, and as you can see, the end result is really cool, and that one is one, definitely one of my favorite envelopes. I actually have three other letters to show you from Joanne, so I'm going to do them all right now because um, she just decorates her envelopes really nicely. This one is made out of graph paper and she used heart stickers and it's very like pink themed as well as everything in it was very pink themed. This one has cactuses drawn on it as you can see, or cacti I guess, cactuses isn't a word. Um, and she decorated the back with little like hearts, I don't know, I don't know if they're hearts or if they're just like little designs. but. That one is really cute. And then, finally, the last letter I have to show you from Joanne is this one. And she cut out these designs and glued them on here. And then she has, like, different things. And she drew these, which is really cool. And then, again, she did something in the corners in the back. The end fell off, but it just fell off in my bin of letters. Um, so that's that, and I think that one's really cute. This letter came from my pen pal, Christina, who lives in Washington State. And she sent it to me around Valentine's Day, so she cut all these little hearts out of paint samples. And then she has some little stickers on it, and she drew a little vine right here with flowers. And then on the back, she just wrote this, and drew some little borders up here. And there were some more stickers, I think, but they also came off. Because I keep all my letters in a big bin together, and they kind of just get stuck on things. This envelope came from my pen pal Faith, who lives in England, and it's made out of brown paper, so she used colored pencils on it, which is a really nice effect, and she drew some dots, as well as this plant, and then on the back, she drew all of this, like, water and things, and then some fish tape to kind of go with it, and I just think that one is really, really cool. This envelope came from my pen pal Ganis, who lives in Indonesia, and it's not so much that it was decorated fancy, it's just a really cool envelope, like it has a tie on it that you would wrap this around to secure it, which is super, super cool. And then she has um, these cool stamps, I guess they have like these super cool stamps in Indonesia. Um, in my next video I'm going to do a flip through of all of the things that I've glued in my journal that my pen pals have sent me, and there's a page full of stamps, so um, yeah, that's in there, and that's really cool. Um, sorry about that. This letter, um, actually came folded up, so I don't know how you, how, like, safe it is to send something in the envelope with a tie on it, but this one arrived okay, but it just looks really cool because it's like an airmail envelope, and I just really like it. This letter came from my pen pal Kalina, who lives in, um, Poland, and she, I don't know if she made the envelope herself, but she decorated it herself with these waves and she colored that all in, which must have taken her ages. And it just is one of my favorite envelopes and has been since I got it almost like a year ago now, I think. And, um, yeah, I just really like this one and every time I see it in my box of letters, I just like have to stop for a second and think about how much time it must have taken to draw her for that. So I just really like that one. I said that for everyone now, but I like them all, so it's okay. This one is really cool. This came from my pen pal Clara, who lives in England, and she cut this out on, this is actually like the back of the letter, I think. 
no, the address was here. Sorry, I didn't even say it. The address was here, and then she cut out these letters from a magazine that say a letter for Eileen, and then she glued on these pictures. She had her stamps here, but I peeled off a couple to glue in my journal. And then she has a quote on the back, and it was taped like this, with big envelopes like this, even though they might cost a little bit more to send. This one's probably around standard size, so that's okay. But, like, you have so much more space to decorate, which is really, really nice. So, you might want to get some big envelopes if you like to decorate. This is a really cool envelope that came from my pin pal, Asmirani, and she's also one of my, like, good internet friends. Like, I don't have that many internet friends, but I talk to her and a couple other people, um, especially more recently. And this, uh, she lives in Indonesia, I don't know if I said that, but she decorated it with scrapbook paper on a brown envelope, and then I added this tape and these little cutouts all over it, and some of these are her own drawings, and then the back has paper on it as well, and she has this gold paper around her return address here, and she, um, went over the flap, although I didn't open it from the flap, I cut it right here, um, because it was already, like, snagged open from being mailed, so. I just really like that one, because of how colorful it is, and her handwriting looks really nice there. This is a letter that came from my pen pal Maria in Russia. And I haven't heard from her in a while, but she just sent me a letter. And her envelopes are always really cool. I have another one to show you from her. And she made this envelope herself, and it's shaped like a cloud, which I don't know how much it costs her to send it, but I think in the U.S., if you're sending it to someone else in the U.S., it costs you, like, 20 or it's 21 cents more or something. Like, it's, like, 70 cents. It's a non-machinable item stamp or, like, two regular stamps, um, which isn't that expensive. But I don't know how you would do that out of the U.S. I'd have to look into it. But this one is super cool, and I like how she decorated it. I'll show you the other one she sent me right now. This one um, goes vertically like this, which I think you have to pay more for here in the U.S. as well, but just like the 70 cent fee. And she just drew all these little things on it, and she has really like fancy um, script handwriting on it here. And then there's nothing on the back, but she did like some um, tape, and it's all kind of like a cohesive color theme until I stuck all my tape on it. But that's okay. This letter came from my pen pal Vera, who lives in Finland, and her stamp on this is super, super cute. And she also glued, or glued, painted these um, jellyfish, probably in watercolor, and they're really cute. And I just think this is like a very simple, but very like, I don't know. It's a very pretty envelope, okay? I like it. This letter came from Faith, who I showed you a letter from earlier, and it's also very simple, but she has this nice sticker that I'm kind of blocking off with my tape, but it has flowers on it. And everything is just very floral. She glued, or she drew all these little vines and things on it. And, um, yeah, she always sends really cute letters, so I like that one. This letter is one I just got recently, and it came from my pen pal, Stephanie, who lives in Hong Kong. And th she did this one by cutting designs out of washi tape and gluing, or taping them on. Like, this was all, she cut them out of washi tape and then put them on in little sections to create a circle around the address. And then on the back, she... Uh, this must be a sticker, but this is also cut out of washi tape. And then she also has a wax seal on it, which is really cool. And I don't have the things to do a wax seal, but I wish I did because they look really, really, really cool. This one came from Vera, who I talked about earlier as well. And she made it out of a magazine page. This is the front. Um, which is just, like, really eye-catching, and I really like how that looks as well. So that's another easy way to do an envelope. This letter came from my pen pal Carolyn, who lives in Ohio here in the U.S., and she always sends me really cute envelopes, and she did this one by gluing on, or probably they're just stickers, yeah. They're just stickers of owls that are, like, 3D, and you can kind of, like, squish them, I don't know, they're, like, puppy stickers. And that one, I just think those are really cute, and then on the back she has this rainbow tape, too. So it's very colorful and summery. Anyway, I hope you liked those letters that I've shown in this video. I have a neck. My next video is going to be things my pen pals have sent me to give you some more ideas of what to send to your own pen pals. And then the video after that, I think I'm going to do a little Q&A. And then in that video, I'll also talk about postage costs on sending letters. I did briefly in this video, but I'll talk about it more then. And if you have any other questions, like on, um, I don't know, anything else about pen paling, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them in my next video. So let me know and I will get back to you with the answers. Thanks for watching and you can follow my pen pal Instagram as well as my regular Instagram in the description box below.